Every year, almost four and a half million people across the U.S. are bitten by dogs. I'm Zach Tawatari at the U.S. Postal Service's Dockweiler Station. But what you might not know is that some of the people most at risk are the ones you see on your street every day, your local mail carriers. We all know dogs and mail carriers have a lot of history. But what might seem like just a friendly rivalry can very quickly turn into a serious situation. Dante Dizon works out of the Dockweiler station in South LA. He's been a letter carrier for the U.S. Postal Service for four years and says that dog attacks are a threat for he and all carriers every day. We have dog bites almost every day, whether it was a small dog or a big dog. Nearly 6,000 postal employees were attacked by dogs last year. LA has the second highest rate in the country. They're wearing these shirts to deliver mail on Saturdays and delivering these cards to bring awareness to the issue. And even though Dante is a dog owner himself, dealing with loose dogs isn't easy for anyone. The nicest dogs still protect their territory. It's not us that's the problem. Um, we love dogs. Some of us have dogs. Some of us um, own dogs. Some of us, you know, raise some of these dogs that's on the routes, but that doesn't mean the dog won't bite us. We still have to take every step with, with precaution and, and we, we just got to be safe at all at all costs. Postal employees go through training on preventing dog attacks, but they can't prevent faulty fences or dogs that aren't trained. In most cases, the only line of defense is that recognizable satchel. But one thing is more effective than training, protection and experience combined dog owners keeping their best friends secured. We aren't a threat to them, but again, they're territorial. Um, and owners need to understand that they're very territorial. They're going to protect them no matter what. Staying friends with their male men and women.